Hey YouTubers, it's Sam, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to update your PSP. Now, if you want to hack your PSP, and let's say you're on like 5.03 firmware or something like that, I suggest not updating it if you want to hack it, and if you want to hack your PSP. But if you want to just update it, here's how you do it. Okay, so there's two ways to do it. One, you can do it directly from your PSP, and what you do, you just go to Network Update, and you need an access point, by the way, because like internet connection. Just press Network Update, and you press that, you know, connect your access point. And then it will check for a, latest, a later system software. Now, since I already have the latest system software, uh, it, I, I don't, I can't download it because I already have it. But what it would say, it would like, you know, say, do you want to install it now? And then you'd like download it now and you'd say yes. And then once it's done downloading, you're going to want to, so basically you're just going to follow the instructions. And like when you're downloading it, plug in your PSP to the charger. So it'll, uh, so just in case the battery dies, uh, it won't break your PSP, which is break it. And then once it's done downloading, it'll say, do you want to install now? Just press yes, and then it'll install, and make sure your PSP is plugged in. Or else, if it goes out of battery, it'll break. Your PSP will get broken. And so, yeah. Once, so that will install it. And then you'll have, to tell what your system software is, just go to System Settings. Go down to System Info, System Information, and it'll say it right there. It's hard to tell, but right there. And I'm at version 5.51 right now, which is the highest version. I don't know if you can tell, but anyway. And then so the other way to do it is from your computer. And so what you do is you just go to... Hold on. Okay, so you go to PlayStation.com, and then you just click on PSP. And once you're on this page, just click... Uh, get the latest system update you just click that and then go to go down here and click update using a PC update using a PC and then go down where is it okay so go down and somewhere it should say to download it. Okay. So you'll click download now. And then once it's done downloading, just go uh plug in your PSP to USB mode. So you need a USB cord that can plug into your PSP. Plug it in, and then go to USB connection, and then it'll go in USB mode. And then once it's in USB mode, either this thing should pop up, or if it doesn't, just go to my computer, and then open that right there. Yeah, but, so, okay, so anyway, this should pop up, and just op press open folder to view files. And go to PSP. Sorry, let me go back. Uh, go to the PSP folder, and then go to the game folder, and then it sh it'd probably be empty. But what you're gonna do is uh go over there and press Make New Folder. And then you're going to name that folder in all capital letters, it has to be capital letters, and name it Update. See, it says Update. And then, just press Enter to... Okay, so now it says Update. So then let's say... 
I didn't actually download the thing, but let's say you did. It should it should say eboot.pbp. And you just get that folder that you downloaded. Let's say you downloaded it onto your desktop. Um, just get it. Like, let's say that's the folder, the update folder that you downloaded off of PlayStation.com. You just get it, and you drag it into the update folder. And then you just drop it in there. But, yeah, so you do that. And then once you do, once you did that, it, you just go to your PSP. Um, wait, first go to my computer. And it's a good idea to, to uh, eject your PSP before you unplug it. You just right click and press eject. And it'll say removable desk. So yeah, just get off USB mode. And then go over to game. And what the heck? Okay, so you go over to game and uh it would say it wouldn't say corrupted data or anything, it would just say um it would say uh update software five point fifty one or whatever and you just press that and then you you know plug in your PSP like I said and follow the instructions and agree to the terms of use of condition or whatever and then yeah it'll update your PSP so that's how you that's how you update your PSP and if you have any questions just ask me and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and have a nice day I sentence, but committed no crime and bad mistakes I've made a few